<laughs> Whoops, I better put that down. And I'm gonna have to repair that at some point. <laughs> What's up guys, Lewis Morris Media back with another video. Uh, nice and straight to the point, that, this is my chair. If you can ever hear this, wait. Ah, oh, that was my chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take you through my camera gear today. So it's kind of like what's in my camera bag, also my camera gear, just because all this gear doesn't fit in my bag. So there's no point in calling it a camera. Let's just get to the video. <laughs> For everything that I do show you in this video, there will be a link below just to show you where I got it from and stuff like that. Uh, what should we start with? Let's just start with the camera. So I've got a Sony a7 III. I'll show you on screen what it is. And I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this camera. Films in 4K, 24 frames per second is pretty much 95% of what I film in. So I used to have a five 50D, I moved to a Canon 80D and then I moved to the uh, the Sony boys. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty insane camera. The quality of the pictures is insane. The quality of the video is incredible. Like all my client work that I've done has been with this camera. The only downside to the a7 III is the massive file size. <laughs> One picture is like 50 megabytes in RAW. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I'd rather have all that information. Let's move on to the lens that I use for video. The lens I'm shooting on now is the Sigma 50mm. I've recently got this. I used to have a Sigma 18 to 35 mil. I regret selling that because that was an absolute beast. The Sigma is insane. Like for, I'm filming on it now, which is why my face is so nice and crisp. <laughs> and it goes all the way down to f1.4. The bokeh and the quality of the glass for, in Sigma is just like madness. I've got a lens wrap on there as well. I will try and find where I got it from again and link it because a lot of people, they will say, where'd you get the lens wrap from? Next, we'll move on to the video lens. This is the Tamron 28 to 75. I use it specifically for video just because the autofocus is just so good. So it's pretty sick. Like it's definitely one of those lenses that's just a beast. Use it only for pretty much like my client work. I would use the Sigma 50 mil, but I like having 28 yeah, <laughs> 28 to 75 millimeters of focus to play with. So it's at 2.8, which pretty much a lot of the time I'm shooting at about 2.8 to 3.5. Two lenses and my camera all have lan um, camo wrap on. <laughs> I just think it just adds a bit of, um, I don't know, something different to it, I guess. But yeah, so for the most part, the Sigma is my main photo lens and then the Tamron's my video lens. Next, we've got the, the camera cage. So this camera cage is sick. It's all small rig, so small rig, um, NATO top handle, NATO rail, the camera cage itself and the side handle. So it would be like this way, but I'll show you on screen again what it looks like when it's all built up. This cage is pretty sick when it comes to wanting to shoot handheld content. So if I'm filming like a gym video that requires like fast paced whip transitions and stuff like that, or just any sort of action like, like similar to that, that's what I'm gonna use. Being able to use that camera gear, it looks way more professional if you show up to like a client shoot and they're like, Yo, my, got, my man's got a cinema camera. <laughs> like, it just looks sick when it's all rigged out. And it's just a nice kind of, I guess like a proud moment where you can look at your camera and just think, man, I, like, I bought everything for this and I put it all together myself. So yeah, pretty sick. The rig setup wouldn't be complete without the matte box. So it's a Tilter MBT15. I think it's called. So sick, really light as well. And it comes with like um, adapters to attach to the front of the lens. And as you can see from the video, it just looks sick when it's on. Um, yeah, so you get like these little rings that screw on just like a filter and then that goes on to there and then you tighten that up and then it's done. So yeah, the filters that I'm using for both lenses. So for the Sigma, I've got a 77 mil um, CPL. If you don't know what a CPL filter is, it basically reduces reflections when you're doing car shots. On the Tamron lens, I'm using a variable ND filter and I've got a CPL for it as well. But with the air, with the <laughs> aerial, with the variable ND, variable, oh, I can't even get my words out. What's this lockdown doing? With the variable ND filter, it's basically like sunglasses for your lens. And as you twist it, you see that it gets darker. When you're shooting video, variable ND is an absolute must. Again, link in the bio for where I got it from. Mainly it's Amazon, so. Next, let's talk gimbals. DJI Ronin S, pistol grip uh, gimbal. So pistol grip is basically just on its own, just a single battery here. I've done a lot of paid work for this. I've got the, the side handles and I put, I don't know if any BMXers or mountain bikers are watching, but I put Vans uh, cork grips on. <laughs> just because instead of holding like bare metal, it was just more comfortable. I was gonna sell this, but there's a time and a place. Gym videos, interviews sort of stuff, quick whip pans and traveling, stuff like that. I got it when it very first came out as well, so I was like day one, I was on that. So next is the Ronin M. This is my main gimbal that I do all my video work for, for my car features. 
So pretty much all the most recent videos from the past, maybe a year, I think it's been a year since I've had the Gimbal M. Yo, what? When I first got it, it needed two brand new batteries and each battery is like 80 pounds each. I just got two of them straight away. I just, I needed it, I needed it to work. I've got a Pelican case for it. So I will show you that on screen, what the Pelican case looks like and yeah, it's pretty sick. I'd rarely keep it in this just because I was using it so much. I packed it away for now just because it was just easier to store. I've got a gym shoot with someone called Kerry Sexton and she's an IFBB pro if you're into fitness. Um, I'm shooting her in two days. So that's when I'll get it out and reassemble it. All the video work that I've done with the M is just spot on. Everything's so stable. It's definitely one of those videography tools that takes my work to another to another level in terms of stabilization. It just put, works perfect for me. And also I got the ring grip. I bought this, this is the official DJI ring grip. It's quite expensive. <laughs> I, think, I think this is about 180 quid or 200 quid, I can't really remember. But the small rig feet were like 90 quid. Joke, man. Got my sticker on there. Link in the description. <coughs> Um, <laughs> but this is gonna come in handy this year for all the car shows. So if I'm walking around, I just wanna put it down. I don't have to worry about it falling over. So in terms of stabilization, your boy's covered. <laughs> We've got gimbals for every situation. I just banged my leg on the side of the bed when I was getting some. <laughs> so yeah, this is the DJI Mini 2. I've not had this long. I've probably had it about uh, maybe a month or so. Obviously you've got the, uh, the sticker on there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is my first ever drone. And before this, I'd never flown a drone. I never even touched one. I just saw loads of drone videos. I was like, yeah, man, I'm getting one. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Like, I've got big hands, but very easy to control. Very compact, as you can see. The battery does last quite a while to get enough shots, like 25, 30 minutes sort of time. I'll drop a couple of clips in now just to show you what it can do in terms of video quality. It does film in 4K, 24 frames. Controller's bigger than the drone. <laughs> Man. Next, we've got the Port Keys P6 monitor. So I used to have the Lilliput A7 something, I think it was called. That was a seven inch monitor, this is five. This is so much better. It's a lot lighter, a lot more compact, easy to put in my camera bag. It takes the big um, Sony batteries. I've got a slim down version now, but it does take the bigger ones. It's got uh, integrated LUTs, so you can put, uh, you like you plug it in, you can load LUTs onto it, and then you can see what the picture will look like if you apply the look to the video, which is a pretty sick feature. It's got like guides on there. Ended up getting the small rig like hot shoe mount or cold shoe mount whatever you want to call it again another tool to make your filmmaking easier and more efficient next is a rode video mic such a perfect little microphone i'm using it now to record my audio there it is <laughs> i think i've had it for about two years it's about 50 quid honestly man best little microphone i've ever had i've never bought any other microphone but this one the audio quality is amazing so yeah spot on next we've got the rgb aperture light it's what's lighting me right now it comes with a little like soft protector, like a little soft box. It's so tiny as well, like it fits in your hand. The battery lasts for ages. So you've got all different colors that you can change it to. So, like blue, pink, purple. And you can control it with your phone. It's got its own app and everything. They've all got their own effects on. And there you got like cop car, flashes red and blue, a fire, pulsing, party mode, lightning, TV, fault ball. For a good like side sort of profile light, I just use it. Yeah, it's bomb. Next, I've got a Canon Speedlight Flash. Yeah, it's what I've been using to do light painting pictures for a car. So I'll throw on screen an example of my car and I used this flash, three separate pictures and just merged them into one. I am gonna do a light painting tutorial because I said I was gonna do it a while ago and I've completely forgot. <laughs> but I'm trying, just trying to find the right car to do it with because I don't want to do it on my car because I want to make it exciting to watch. This is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW2, I think it's called. BP 450 AW2. I got it in the Black Friday sale. I got it for like 90 quid, but then the RRP is like 200 and something quid. <laughs> it's very like rigid. It's got a lot of compartments. It's got its own little like rain cover that folds out. It's got like extra little bags and for your tripod and you can put your tripod in it. Compartment wise, it's got everything. It's empty now because I'm showing, I have to get it all out, but you can change it all around like pretty much every camera bag ever. You can put your, um, I got 16 inch MacBook Pro that fits nicely in this bit. Yeah, it fits in there. <laughs> Yeah, it's just one of those camera bags where I can literally fit my camera, drone and controller, RGB light, flash, tripod, two lenses, 
all my filters, cleaning stuff, road video mic, all my batteries for my camera, batteries for my drone. Yeah, it fits a lot of stuff, man. <laughs> instead of it opening from... <laughs> instead of it opening from the front, it opens from the back. So pretty much no one can get in it if it's on your back. It's got side side opening pockets as well, which I've started using a lot. So you literally put your camera in that bit and then you just unzip it, pull it out, take some pictures, put it back in. So yeah, the main bag itself is actually pretty good. So the next thing isn't like camera gear, but it's an accessory that I use all the time. And I think it's very essential for anyone that does photography or has camera gear. It's an electric duster. I spoke about this in my how to keep your camera gear clean video. <laughs> We've all used those canned like dusters. It sp sometimes sprays out like liquid. And if you're doing that to your camera sensor, your camera lens, and then it's got the liquid on the lens and then you're like, oh, I've got to rub that off. This eliminates that. It stays at home, but it cleans all of your camera gear. It gets all the dust off. And yeah, I'll, again, I'll put the affiliate link in my bio, in my description so you can click on it and have a look. You can use it for your Xbox or PS4, PS5, whatever. Your PC, you can clean out all your PC components and then get the Hoover and maybe dust afterwards. I use it to clean up my car, like the bits of, oh, it's just sick. <laughs> I'm getting gassed off a duster, what the fuck? <laughs> get one of these, man, trust me. So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of camera gear. It's just kind of showing what I'm starting the year with, whether I'll upgrade something, maybe. I'll probably get end up getting more lenses. The next biggest purchase would be like a, a Atomos Ninja 5 monitor, so, or recorder, so I can film in like 10 bit, or I can just keep saving up and get like a A7S III or something like that. I'm pretty much at that point where I've got my gear to a professional level. And it's pretty, it is pretty mad to look back and realize what I started with was like a 200 pound 550D, which was in this day, like in 2021, that camera shit. <laughs> to look at what I've got now, and I do appreciate it. The fact that I've worked hard for everything I've got and I still had to build my portfolio, get people booked in, doing car shoots and spending hours on the shoot and doing free shoots here and there when I first started. And yeah, it's a long process, man. Um, as in, when I kind of get upgrades and stuff like that, I'll obviously put them on my Instagram, stuff like that. I'll try and do like more gear posts for the gear nerds out there. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope everyone's trying to stay active and creative as much as you can. Just go out with your camera, to go on a walk, do something, keep yourself kind of ticking over until obviously everything calms down. I've launched my website as well recently, lewismorrismedia.com. I've got presets on there, preset packs that you can see the before and after shots on the website, I've got jet tags, stickers, all that sort of stuff. Stay active. And again, like I said in the last video, the less we hate, the more we create. So see you in the next one. This fucking chair. Stupid chair.